a prayer for my sister, a prayer of St. G. Dotsi, Dotsi, where are you, my sister, my innocence? For since the age of eight, a tumor of the brain took much of your humanity, yet you recovered it and were a wonderful aunt to my children and to others of our seven brothers and sisters. The surgery which took your sight and glands left upon a barren shelf the one survival skill. It was love. And though we popped up the old maid in our fan of cards to alert your near blindness to it, we loved you too. Funny. But this is serious. Where are you? For what years did you have to become, to come to a knowledge of the Lord? You had only yourself, your life within. And though we know the rubrics of our following of Christ, we suspect there are side compartments to your temple. Can she not have come through the women's gate or the water gate? or the gate of lepers? What of the beautiful gate? Admit her there, and into the store chambers of new wine, of oil and tithes and first fruits, of corn and meat and frankincense. Bring her to the gate of the Gentiles, the middle wall of partition, broken down by you, our peace, Jesus the Christ, the Son of the living God, God. No enmity against her or any man, all new, all reconciled peace to all. Was she afar off like others? But do bring us near. We sing fifteen psalms of degrees, drink bitter waters, walking down the fifteen steps to the court of the women. She never became a woman in any real sense, no parturation of children, no husband, no savior but you. Was she to have said some formula to accept you, to receive you, to know the day and time of her salvation? These are not important. The blood of Jesus Christ fell upon her, and she, in her puny way, no less than ours, believed. Now many years are gone, and we do wonder of our many who have passed, passed from sorrow, passed to death, passed to where. These things are known of a sort, but quickly forgotten. Your way is too sure, but mysterious to us, who wish to have found our self-made compartments to your temple. We have old wine, rotted corn, and think to offer to you the dregs of our life. God, too wise, too loving, too sovereign against all our wiles. In our minds we see a garden, and he who loves us all has power over all flesh. Unto the Father he prays, give eternal life to those given me, and this is life eternal, that they might know you, the only true God, and Jesus Christ, whom you have sent. The work is finished, finished beyond all the years of Dotsi, all the years of history. History of only one story, this, that none of them is lost. Keep them from evil, they are not of the world. That all may be one, as the Father and I, and they one in us. Let them behold my glory. I am the resurrection to life of all things. Dotsi, do you believe this?